Power Rangers is in serious trouble when it comes into 2023. This is something that I don't think many people are talking about and I think that if Hasbro doesn't kind of correct this, I think that as soon as these episodes air, the Cosmic Fury as well as the kind of 30th, I feel like we're going to have a major Power Ranger shortage and that to me is a major big problem. So let's talk about it. Hi, I'm Camilla Luddington and you're watching Alum. In 2023, we were told that Power Rangers Cosmic Fury will be 10 literal episodes and that's it. There's no season two, there is just literally 10 episodes and that's it. We also have the 30th, which apparently people are reporting there's gonna be split into two episodes at 40 minutes each, which again, if that is true, then I think that is absolutely fantastic and I'm very, very happy for it. We don't know at the moment when Cosmic Fury is gonna drop. Could it be later on in the year? I think Sawn mentioned around about March time, which I don't think would be that because that's a quick turnaround to get at least 10 episodes out. I think it's gonna be a little bit later on. But the 30th anniversary, that's dropping apparently in April, which again, sh quite short, it's at the time of this recording, roughly around about five months time. Could be done by that time. But if these seasons drop so early in the year, what about the rest of the year? Because we don't know anything about the Jonathan Entwistle project at the moment. We just know that it's been worked on or will be worked on. We don't know if there's anything else that Hasbro have got planned because they're very, very secretive on things. And the only things that you have right now would be literally the comic books, which again, not many people or a majority of people aren't even reading and don't really like the comics. So therefore it becomes really hard for, for any Power Ranger type project to get off the ground. And a lot of people are saying, oh, that's fine. Like I'm okay with that. But really I wouldn't be because there's nothing to kind of keep us going. Now, normally when we know about these sorts of projects, Power Rangers will come back next year. And that's what we have something to look forward to. Multiple videos are made, multiple videos are made. But in theory, we don't know anything. And with the shortage, I generally think this is dangerous because if there's nothing to kind of keep you wanting more, then what's the point of actually producing the content? Why wait? What, you know, why are you leaving it this far and not having it? If you've got 10 episodes of Cosmic Fury, two episodes of the 30th anniversary, effectively that's 12 episodes of Power Rangers for the entire year. Now, we know that the Cosmic Fury is being dropped straight away all over like 10 episodes. I think that would be a bad idea. I've always thought that if you did it weekly, then at least you've coming back and going, okay, well, at least that's 10 weeks into the year. That's a little bit of something different and multiple times to kind of review, to talk about, to kind of like theorize on tons of projects. But I just feel that if you have nothing left, if you have nothing to give to the fans and you're literally dropping this very early on in the year, what, what's the point? Like, what do you have next? Like, normally you'd have a lot of things to kind of like back this up. Oh, cool, we've got another season coming up. We've got another few specials coming up. I, I don't want to be left high and dry until the next year or the year after if Jonathan Entwistle is going to do his thing. I want constant content or at least a decent amount during the year. So I can turn around and go, yeah, I'm enjoying this. I can watch it because I do think that Power Rangers would be forgotten for a short amount of time. And the fandom would be like, oh yeah, shit, I forgot this Cosmic Fury season two. There's another adaptation of whatever. Oh shit, yeah, I completely forgot about this. Now, originally I wrote that if Cosmic Fury comes out, then you have nothing to the 30th anniversary. What will you do? What will you have? But now it could be the other way around. As soon as the 30th drops, if it is in April, what do you have left until Cosmic Fury drops there and then? If they're so close together, like say for example, April, May that Cosmic Fury drops in, then what would you have to plan for the rest of it? Because again, this is what the fans look forward to all the time is when's the next thing. And again, like if you're gonna be reading comics, not everybody does, not everybody wants to go and buy backlogs of comics or want to read them if they haven't been keeping up or if you're just jumping in, what are you gonna do? And I feel me personally, I would have thought this through and gone, right, maybe we have 20 episodes. Maybe that's enough time to do it. Do the whole thing that we did with Dino Fury seasons one and two, split them up. First lot drops, then much later on you have the second lot drops or space it out and have it over a weekly thing. 
that to me would be a lot easier and it would make things like you know make people go oh my god i can't wait very similar to how the second season of Dino Fury was, people wanted it straight away. With the way the binge culture worked right now, the fact is that people want to watch it straight away. They want to see everything straight away and sometimes jump to the end episode to see how it all is. You have that whole thing of like, do you start from the beginning to actually watch the end or do you watch the end to see what's coming next? I know that I'm tempted on watching the last episode, but as soon as I, I, I see that and there's nothing more for the series, I don't want to have to wait until X amount of time, until much later on. I want to be like entertained with this with this media. And I just feel like if you don't have anything planned for after Cosmic Fury, that you haven't got anything for the rest of the year, what am I going to get excited about? Because if Power Rangers, again, doesn't show the next adaptation of what it's going to do or the next project, what are you going to turn, turn around and do? Is Zato at the end of Cosmic Fury go, do you know what, guys? It's been fun working with you. We've destroyed all evil. There's no more evil left out in the universe. We're done. And then that's it. It ends and you get the kind of nice ending to it. But what, what do you have next for people who want to watch it, who want to continue on like supporting the brand? Again, comic books are fine. But again, I think we need more stuff. Now, I know we're getting animated stuff. I know that we're getting like maybe three or four different projects. But for the rest of the year, if you have everything at the very beginning, People are going to kind of forget about it. What are you going to do? What's going to happen? Uh, it, it just irritates me that we don't really have this sort of plan laid out. We just know that there's two anniversary episodes coming up and 10 episodes of Cosmic Fury. So I originally wrote down that if you had it in January and that's when the first episode drops and you got the 10 and then the 30th doesn't like kind of air till August, that's a long wait. You know, that's a long, long time to wait for any Power Ranger content. It just feels like it would be a dry spout where what would you talk about? What what would you have? You could make multiple videos and, and release it, but what does the fandom have to kind of really sink their teeth into? There isn't much, and that's what I kind of think is a really bad thing all the way through. I feel like if you had to wait that long time, you would kill the memento of the 30th anniversary. People would be climbing the walls. Like they'd want to see that episode so much more than anything else but with that much long of a wait how are you going to deal with it same thing now is what will happen if both cosmic fury and the 30th anniversary literally are both like say almost back to back what are you going to have until next year because the one thing is again killing memento if you turn around and say the rangers will be back in 2024 that's a long time that people will just forget the brand. Yes, you'll have the Lightning Collection come out. Yeah, you'll have a few other things. But to me, that just shows that you either you've got to work hard to produce a lot of stuff in 2024. Because if this sort of stuff happens again, like another 10 episodes, it, it's not a lot. And having that over a space of just one year, people are going to forget Power Rangers. People are going to just move on. And when it's like someone pops up and says, hey, guys, this is when the next season comes. It's like, oh, shit. Yeah, I remember that. Oh, well. And I just feel like you're just killing the, the momento of the show. Now, yeah, we were spoiled with having it at least one season and then we'd have the season the next year. But we knew something was coming. We knew exactly how things were going to go down. And I feel like this either needs to be addressed. Hasbro needs to kind of really talk about this a bit more, about how they're going to be working their shows, even if they did something like a Hasbro PulseCon and they actually did a proper stage thing like Marvel does, at least then we know a timeline of when things are happening so we can go, oh, okay, I'm really, really excited for it. But look at the hiatus with Ninja Steel. There was one episode that I really, really liked and it was the thing with Madio, Madame Odious about to destroy or something like that or she became a super powered or whatever. And I was so kind of like, oh my God, I need to watch this because she trashed the Zords. And then it went on to a hiatus for, I think it's about six months. But because of that, I generally just was like, right, I want to watch this. And then I forgot about it. I, I didn't care when it was coming back because that episode was, you know, it was gone. I didn't want to rewatch it. It killed the memento of the show. And again, I just really couldn't be bothered. There have only been a few seasons where I'm like, dear God, I really kind of want to watch this. And I think that when you, again, going off script, I think that when you look at Super Sentai to some degree, you have this whole like once a week thing and then they commission at least 40 odd episodes and people come back every single week and i kind of wish power rangers would do this rather than just stick to the whole generic formula that happens in america where it's like yeah we've done it gone now now what 
I feel like the two are different, completely different types of mediums. But I feel like if you lose the memento, what is it to bring people back? And I don't particularly want to have to go with months upon months or not knowing if the brand is going to continue with Power Rangers or whatnot. Yeah, cool, the Jonathan Entwistle thing's there. But again, I've heard no news about this. Nothing's been shared. So how do we know that it's still going on? It probably is, and don't get me wrong, it's still going from what we know. But how do I know without any information that it's coming in 2024, maybe 2025? Who knows? There is a ton of stuff that we need. But I feel like if you don't have enough kind of product to show, are people going to buy your stuff? Yeah, the Lightning Collection, as mentioned, people are going to keep buying that because you're quite held deep into it after this many years going, I want to buy all of this. I need all of this. But I just generally think that without Power Rangers kind of going on throughout the year, people will forget about it. We're at a time in this era of life where, or an internet stage, where if you don't have it in the public eye, people forget about it. People just kind of move on to other things. And this is a big thing that Power Rangers needs to keep going to keep in the public eye if you want to keep it going. But yeah, I just think that with this Power Rangers shortage over a short amount of months, I'm not happy with just, what, 12 episodes, 11 episodes. I want more from this brand. I want more content so I can watch it. You know, I will happily watch the animated series. I'll happily watch the movie. I will happily watch anything, but I want new stuff. I don't want to have to keep going back and re-watching old things. Because again, it's just a little bit boring. I want new stuff to keep me entertained. I want to be excited on seeing where the brand goes. But right now, I feel like after Cosmic Fury, after the 30th, that's it. And we won't see anything until much later on. So I kind of want to see how we move in. Is there a Power Ranger shortage? Yes, I think there will be when it comes to the next season and the 30th anniversary. But that's my kind of thoughts on that. What do you think? Let me know down below in the comments. See you later. Channel を support してくれてありがとうございます。チャンネル登録、高評価お願いします。以下のリンクから商品を入手することができます。